Dawn has come to the boutique with her friends Becky and Hannah. Hello. <laughs> so what must your dress have? I just think maybe impact. I think I just want that people to go, oh, wow. So you want something a bit different, but you're kind of different. Yeah. Dawn is planning on wearing this electric blue leather jacket on her wedding day. Doctor Who slash Little Mermaid. Oh. So we've had it made for the wedding. Wow. That's, that's a look. Mark's going away before the wedding. Mark's going to be working away in Germany for at least a month, if not a month and a half. Oh. oh, so you won't see him? No. Oh, Whoa. so you've got to knock his socks off? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Dawn, that is a lot of pressure. So the dress is from Phyllis. That blush one, perfect for Dawn. Perfect. This is a new dress. We've had it shipped from America, and Dawn is the first to have it on. What? Open your eyes. Wow. Dawn, what's going through your mind? Um, it's just, it's beautiful. It's, yeah, it's lovely. You're a little bit speechless, Dawn, aren't you? Yeah, I didn't expect it. I really wanted it to look really nice, and then I wasn't expecting it to look as nice as it does. Does it feel like the one? I don't know. It is beautiful. There's definitely a bat. Mm. What is that bat? There's no bat. I just... I want to be 150% sure that it's it's the one. This dress is one of my all-time favourites. This is going to show Dawn just how banging that little body is. And sometimes when you need a bride to see what you see, this dress, this is the one. OK, then. Open your eyes. Wow. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel very exposed. It's not doing what you think it is. It's not showing. Not at all. No. Hand up and look. It, it, you've got a waist. And it's not sitting where you think it is. It's not showing any of your stomach that you don't like. It's showing this. She needs to see the beautiful Dorney that has always been there. And she needs to make peace with that person. I want to shake her sometimes, because yeah. she, she, she just doesn't see it, and I don't understand why. Because it's so easy for everybody else to see it. Yeah. I, I just don't feel like it's me. I don't... I'm looking at me from... I'm not looking at me, I'm looking from there down at the dress. I'm not looking at me. The one thing you always say about me is how much you like my waist, because my waist goes in. Your waist goes in. You've got it. She is perfect hourglass. She looks insane. But does she have the confidence to pull that look off? Let's just see how it looks with the jacket, shall we? Oh, wow. Well, now then, here we are. <laughs> Does that change things? This is my my final decision, isn't it? And there's no there's no change in my mind. There's no going back. There's no going back and analysing it. You're overthinking <sighs> it. So just yeah. say what you see and say what you feel. No one's feelings going to be hurt at all. Just say it. <sighs> I don't know. You look amazing, and. I don't... I've never understood with you why you can't see it, why you can't feel it, why you have to let what stupid people have said to you in the past get to you. Oh. Are you worried about what people are going to say? Um, I'm worried... I'm worried about what I'm going to say when I see the pictures afterwards. Oh. Do you want to try something else on Dawn? She's... She's had issues with... Bullies as such in the past that have said things about her and I think no matter how old you get, I think that's tough to shake. It's that that sticks and I think that's what hurts Dawn the most. Can I end up? Right, so, you need to have a black background to be able to see. 
because otherwise the white gets lost in the white. You wear a dress bag amazingly well. <laughs> OK. Open your eyes. I definitely still don't like that bit. Slip your arm free. Yeah, definitely prefer it without anything there. What do you guys think? I like it. I like it. Dawn, not hearing a lot from you. I like it, but I think it's not different enough. I felt like it was really nice. It flattered my figure, but it, it felt too, too bridal, too normal. It felt like something that I could pick off the rack. It just didn't have that little extra bit, that extra something. I don't know whether you guys agree, but I think if we It's try... not their decision, it's <laughs> yours. I'm, I'm not interested. If we just try the first one on with the jacket, because if it doesn't match the jacket, then it's got it can't it, it can't be the dress. Dawn stood in front of the mirror and she actually made a decision for herself. Now that decision might have been a no, this dress isn't for me, but it's a decision nonetheless. Right. But how are we feeling? Ex a little bit excited actually. For the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the line, caller. She's excited. Right, let's make it a little bit more excited, because let's put a veil on that matches the colour, shall we? And step up. OK, Dawn. Do it. What do you think? You know we like this one. There's one thing, though. The jacket. The jacket. Wow. That's the look I was going for. Yeah, this is the one. I made a decision. What? <laughs> you might have to pick me up in a minute, Anne. <laughs> and the world hasn't exploded. Dawn, is this your dress? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Say it a bit more and you might believe it. It is. Yes, it is. Oh, my God. Can we just take a moment? Dawn has made a decision and she has chosen her own wedding dress. Oh, happy days. I'm a very big believer in fate and I think that maybe this was... We were meant to meet me in this dress. I don't think I could have done it without you two. Well, you four. I think what we helped her with was to trust her own judgement to go with how she felt as opposed to how she thinks other people will feel. So long as she believes she can rock that dress, she can rock it. We're going to be at a wedding. I love a bit of Gretna Green. So, yeah, I can't wait.